Hello, YouTube friends. It's me. <laughs> Surprise! Teresa Louise. Here I am. <laughs> Did you think I disappeared? Oh, went off the face of the earth? <laughs> Something like that. Oh, boy. Well, it's, it's been... It's been... <laughs> Let's just say that. So I uh, really wanted to test out this new recording device. And um, it's actually a um, Galaxy 21, I think it is. Um, see how my memory is? I haven't even had it that long, and I can't remember what it is. Um, Anyway, uh, I had it mailed to me, and I hadn't put a case on it, or what do you call it, a shell, or whatever, I don't know what you call it, but anyway, there's no place to plug in a microphone or wired earbuds, so... <laughs> I don't know if they just come that way. Um, I've watched some YouTube videos, but nobody says. And I, and of course, I haven't asked the question, but I think I'm just going to call the outfit Monday and find out. Um, anyway, but I thought I'd go ahead and give it a try and see what we come up with. Now, today I am cleaning this sewing room. I, you know, I haven't. Um, been up here in a long time and I just come up and drop stuff off do you do that yeah I just drop it off and leave I mean it's a mess you can see look at that look at that mess okay mess mess it's a mess well you can't see what's on the floor over there but and then behind me <laughs> let's see if I can flip the phone ready oh my goodness look at that mess there's a quilt just rolled up <laughs> look at that mess then there's stuff on the floor down there oh boy it's a mess there's my art quilt It's kind of, I'll have to watch it when, before I load the video, but for me, when I flip it like that, it gets blurry for a second. That kind of sucks, but. Drink an iced tea. So I thought I'd just visit while I kind of clean up. See what y'all were doing. I'm thinking about moving my sewing machine over here and then um, but <laughs> but that is such a mess over there oh my god so thinking about moving my sewing machine right here and kind of making this my filming area sewing area nice big table it's four by eight it's just made out of plywood and uh, I think they're two by sixes for legs <laughs> my husband and I put it together and when I had room I had this nice big table right in the middle of this room and it was awesome 
you know, I could get to it on all, all over. But then when I got the long arm, I had to move it. So I have moved this darn table I don't know how many times. And I want to get rid of it because it's really useful when you're ready to trim up your quilt and all that. So anyway, I'm thinking about moving that over here. Um, and then I want to move all my art quilt stuff over there because I want that wall to do my art quilt on. So all that stuff along that wall is going to have to go. <laughs> that will be quite the job. I don't think I'm up to that today. But anyway, so that's what I'm doing. Um, let's see, what have I been doing? Well, I've been sick a lot. I think most of you know that. I'm feeling pretty good today. Now, yesterday, I felt pretty good until about noonish. Um, after I ate, I made the mistake of eating fruit. <laughs> I have a stomach problem. And I thought, well, peaches and strawberries. Oh, God. I love fruit, you know. <laughs> and within like 20 minutes, I was just sick, and then I was just sick the rest of the day. Stomach problems. So, today, I guess I can, I can only eat toast and chocolate. And I drink uh, iced tea, but it's really watered down, so it's only like one bag. <laughs> Because I know the caffeine isn't good for you. But I love iced tea. So um, Sometimes I think you just have to suffer for the things you really like. I had a friend who um, she has, or I shouldn't say I had a friend. I have a friend who has Crohn's disease. And um, it's pretty bad. But sometimes... She just eats the things that she knows that she's not supposed to because she just loves food, you know. And I know everybody's like this. Like if you go on a diet or, you know, um, there's something you can't eat anymore, you might not have really even liked it to begin with. Like all growing up, I hated eggs, uh, fried eggs especially. Ugh. I didn't mind them scrambled with a, some milk <laughs> in there, you know, and keep it away from the ketchup and the syrup. <laughs> Who wants sugar on your eggs? That's gross. Anyway, um, and then, oh, I would, I'll say maybe three years ago, I really found out that I couldn't eat eggs every time I ate eggs. Within 20 minutes or so, I would just be so tired and be really achy. And so I just figured I must be allergic to them. And same thing with a flu shot. Sometimes I do okay with the flu shot. And other times um, I get it and I'm, you know, out. So now that I can't eat eggs, I want them. which is really strange. I, I never in my whole life ever craved eggs before. It's crazy. Anyway, I don't remember what I was saying about my friend and her Crohn's. Just that she would, you know, like me, I know that I can't eat eggs, but every now and then I'll have a scrambled egg. And my husband always goes, you going to eat that? I'm like, Yep, he goes, well, good night. <laughs> I'm like, I know, right? I should, you know, what I'm going to do is eat them at night if I want one, right? Because then I'll just be asleep. Might help me sleep. Anyway. 
Okay, so let's see. What else? Oh, well, in between not feeling well, um, we got a new fifth wheel. My husband wants to um, get out of here this winter. And I'm not really crazy about that idea. I'm as much as I hate the snow and the cold, I don't want to leave all my stuff, you know. And um, so I'm going to try and figure out what I can do, what I can take, you know. Um, so the fifth wheel is all a, aluminum. So it's super light. It's like 7,000 something pounds. So our Dodge truck, you know, um, shouldn't have a, doesn't have a problem at all pulling it. And, um, but you still have to be aware of what you're putting in there. So I don't have this to show you yet, but I'm buying a, one of those little featherweight sewing machines. And they're not very heavy. And they're just little. Just little. So they don't take up much room. And I know a lot of people who camp and stuff. That's what they use. So, and we'll have a generator. So that won't, shouldn't be a problem when I want to sew. So I'm just going to have to be really organized, I think. So I'm going to take up, I'm going to do a video sometime of the, of the camper. Um, did I say it was 27 foot? Yeah, it's 27 foot and the kitchen's way in the back and then the living area and then you walk up the steps and then there's a bathroom and then bedroom and uh, it's kind of snug but it does have a slide out in the living room area so that's great. So the dinette set and the little couch both slide out so it's pretty roomy in the living area and I'm going to take their storage under the table and the bench seats and those are my I'm going to take those their storage for my sewing and crafting and then the cupboards above it are going to be mine too and so I can take my cross stitch and then I'm just going to get prep projects and put them in project boxes and then I'll have that little sewing machine and I have a little iron and I have a little um, ironing board you know a little cutting mat you know just take all the little stuff and then when we come back next spring I'll just have quilts ready to go on the long arm um, I think that's a good idea and if I run out of projects, I can always go to a quilt store, right? <laughs> so, um, so we'll see. We haven't taken it anywhere yet. We're still prepping it. Prepping it. We wanted to make sure it's used. It's not new. It's just new to us. I think it's a 2007. And, um, I don't remember what brand it is, but I'll, I'll do a video on it and you can see it. But I got to get get it cleaned back, straightened back up, and everything. Um, I forgot what I was going to say again. I'm, my allergies have just been oh so bad. My eyes, and then it goes down my throat. We have pine trees. You know, I live in the forest where there's pine trees and the pollen on, on those trees, the wind blows and you can just see this big cloud of yellow pollen just and then everything gets coated <laughs> including my eyes Ugh. constantly putting eye drops in um, we went to the eye doctor. Everything's okay. We got new glasses. And so I wanted to try out bifocals. 
with distance because I thought the bifocal would be nicer for doing cross stitch and looking down and so I had him for like two weeks and it just drove me crazy I, I couldn't stand that line there and I couldn't see like you looked up and you look through this part and I couldn't see you know two feet in front of me I couldn't see anywhere in the glass and I couldn't see without the glasses <laughs> so I'm like this is not gonna work because I'm used to progressives right so you have distance and then you have you know three feet to whatever and then up close up close so I took the glasses back and said no but they were great for um, cross stitch and my prescription had changed so plus these are so scratched up that it's really hard to see sometimes through them um, anyway when I put those on and I looked at a distance I was like oh my god look at that <laughs> it's clear and then when I look you know did my cross stitch it was great I didn't need to put another pair of glasses on you know in front of these like I always do um, and I think I was doing like 16 count and I could see well enough without putting on the extra pair of glasses <laughs> so until I get I'm hoping when I get my new ones back um, it'll be just as great but we'll see and I the new ones I got are a little more you know they're more I think they're more rounded here and because I thought well maybe if I make them get them to where they're a little bigger because these are pretty small you know if they come down a little more I'll be able to see better so hopefully those are in next week and um, we bought some trees and got those planted. We bought a aspen and a white birch. Um, and they're rated to go like 50 below. So since I've been here, I haven't seen it 50 below, but I have heard stories. It has gotten to like 30, 28, 30. Oof, that's too cold. That's too cold. Um, anyway, we got those planted, so I'll show you those when I do the camper thing video. And, of course, I picked up some flowers, so I planted those this morning. Um, I don't remember what they're called, but they're going to be pretty. And they're um, annuals. They kind of look like bachelor buttons, but that's not what it is. I still have the tag, so when I do a tour, I'll, when we go outside, I'll find the tag. And I posted a picture this morning. Um, today's Saturday. June, what is today? Is it the 25th? Something like that. Anyway, um, I planted the flowers this morning and so I thought I'd better come upstairs the sap before it gets too hot up here and try to get some stuff done. So let me show you um, yeah, let me show you some cross stitch. <laughs> My husband gave me this, um, one, two, three, four, five, six drawer plastic drawer set there um, for 
well, whatever I wanted it for, but I'm going to put my floss in there. And thinking about um, how to organize it, I thought about doing it by color. But, you know, the numbers are so wacky. Like, you'll have, and just for instance, you probably already know this, but um, let's say you have a, gra a green that's in the 300s. Well, then you'll have some other greens that are in the 800s. That doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, so <laughs> I decided I'm just going to do like 100 to, to 199, 200s, 300s, 400s, you know. That would probably be the easiest way. When you go to look for them, um, what would really be cool is like having a spinning rack, like they do at the quilting store. But where would you, where would I put that? You know. So I'm just gonna use the drawer. So I was doing all that, and I'm like, um, why are you doing this right now? When you leave to go camping, you're gonna put them all in a little storage box. I'm not going to take that great big shelf. Although, a thought is I could put all my projects in there. And, and some supplies. But where would I put it? I'll have to think about that. Okay. Sorry, you guys, it's been so long since I've done a video that I'm, uh, you know, that word. <laughs> okay, so I do have a finish, and this is out of my cross stitch basics. And there's the one right on the front, this one right here. I'm also curious how long I can record before the phone goes, you did it long enough. So my other one would do that. I only could uh, record for about 45 minutes, 46 minutes before it would go, you're done. <laughs> okay, so here it is. Oh, and I had so much fun doing this one. So I'm thinking I, I enjoy doing the samplers. Yeah. Bless our home. And um, so, you know, I'm a new cross-stitcher, and I had no idea what the EST and the date I wasn't didn't know really what that meant and if I was supposed to actually put in an EST and whatever date they had on there so somebody told me the other day that it means estimated like estimated date and this one was like 1996 well I had already put my initials in the date I did it. Um, it's not, and I thought, well, that's still okay because it's not exactly like the one in the book because I made a mistake on this row right here. And um, you can't really tell unless you're looking at the pattern. And uh, like I made an extra row there and I'd already d did this whole top piece before I caught it and I wasn't going to um, pick it out. So I just, you know, went with it. And I think it looks okay. I mean, you wouldn't have known unless I, without me telling you, um, but I think it turned out really well.
lots of fun. I really enjoyed doing the um, stitches out of this book. <coughs> this um, good thing too because I haven't ordered anything off of the internet yet. I keep wanting to, but uh, okay. So that I think is my only finish. So things I'm working on. I didn't do like the May. What was that? What you guys did in May, like a frenzy. Um, I was going to, but then I got sick, and uh, so I didn't do it. But I did start this one. Um, I love doing houses. <laughs> Oop, my pen's in there. So I couldn't wait till I got down to the house. I don't know why I love to do houses, but I think it's because you can just keep going, you know, with the same color for, <laughs> you know, a long period of time there. Okay, so here we go. where I am on that. So here I started the house. So I think I uh, started this um, the first part of June. I don't think I brought my bag up here with the card. No. But that's all right. It's on 16 count and I'm using two threads and I'm just stitching over one. And I think this was like um, an ivory Ada. And I think this is really cute. How that goes down there like that. And these flowers are cute. And that heart. It's kind of like a basket weave. <laughs> anyway. Give thanks with a grateful heart. And then, yeah, it's going to have the house and a tree, more letters and numbers. So, i um, been working on this one almost every night. And I need to start working on some of my other ones, but... I, I want to put, I'm thinking I might put this in the camper because these are kind of the colors that's in the camper. So that's that one. And let's see, I haven't made any more project bags. I'm not sure where I left off last time on this one. This is the Pine uh, Prim Village. And I'm doing it a little bit different, of course, because I messed up with my fabric. And I'm definitely not picking out all these houses. And I didn't realize I wasn't going to have enough room, you know, to go all the way down on my fabric until I had four houses already done. So what I'm going to do is do... Um, I'm thinking I'm going to do five houses and then another row of five houses. And then I think that will probably be all the room I have. So there's that. And the other thing I did um, was I made some of the windows yellow, <laughs> like the lights on. And in the pattern... They're all gray. And so I didn't want them all gray. And I feel like it's okay to change it, you know. 
I don't think I've done one yet that I haven't done something different than what the pattern called for. Um, this is also 16 count and no, this is 18 count. And it's like a beige color and I did one over one. Which, um, if I had to do this over again, I would do two over one. Because it's not as, some places aren't as thick as I would like them to be. But still looks alright. I can't see if you... <laughs> there. Okay. That's that one. And then my blue one. Um, I think I've gotten a little more done on this. Let me flatten it out a little bit. So I've got these put in and the corners done and I decided to wait to do the leaves until I was ready to also do the little dots and then all these little dots have to be connected with the back stitch so I'm thinking just do that all at the same time except for um, I'm doing two over two over two yeah two over two and the back stitch only calls for one thread so you know, I'm just going to go ahead and do it, and if it doesn't look good, then I'll pull it out. But I think it's looking pretty. I believe this is 22 count on white Ada. Yeah. And this is also in my book. I have ne two needles stuck in there. Oh, I was using one needle as a marker. Uh, what do you guys do to mark your line, you know, when you're counting down? Would you let me know <laughs> down in the comments? I would appreciate it. On one of them, I did like a little pencil mark, but I don't really want to do that. So, I'm just doing that needle. All right. Yep, my last one is also in the book. Let me find the picture. Oh, that's the pattern. Can't show you that. You'd think I would have the. Here's the picture of the blue one. Okay, so this is the one I'm doing. And remember I said I wanted to try that because it's kind of like full coverage, you know, to see if I'm going to like doing that. Um, the other thing, this is a lot of half stitches. So that's kind of strange, but that's all I've gotten so far. Just that upper corner will be this upper upper corner right there. So all of this part is um, a half stitch, and then the window sill is a full stitch, and I'm doing that on 16 count. It's kind of a um, and I think it is white, Ada. And I'm just doing two over one. 
So that's that one. And that's all the cross stitch. Um, I'm not sure what new starts I'm going to do yet. Uh, been watching some floss tube and been making a list of what I might want to purchase. I think I might like to do a little Halloween something and then maybe um, a Christmas. Um, kind of would like to do these. They're, they have them as bookmarks. I don't know if I'd use them as bookmarks or not, but I look, um, this one says, Bloom Where God Plants You. That's so cute. Um, so I might start that one. In fact, yeah, I think I will start that one. And I might find one more to start. Um, they can have some baby stuff in here too. I'm not going to start that. I might do this hummingbird. That'd be cute. Or I might do another sampler. They have quite a few samplers in here. Hoot. Um, then that's all the flossy goodness. Um, let's see. I got a quilt quilted the other day. And um, this is one of my quilts. This is the back. And I'm not going to be able to open up the whole thing. It's really big. And I, I know I've shown this before. But that's what it is. This was the fabric out of one of the sew samplers. Um, it was um, Layla Boutique fabric. And I believe it was called Harvest, and the pattern is Acorn. I think that's correct. <laughs> and I really loved the fabric, so I ordered more of it and made the quilt bigger. So this quilt is like 96 by 80 something. So it's, it's pretty big. So I just need to get the binding on and I'm just going to do a white binding. So I want to get, try to get some of that done today. And then um, the quilt that I had wrinkled up behind here was the one that I had to um, pick out because I didn't realize that my tension underneath had gone wonky and until I rolled it. So I had done one whole path and I was doing um, custom quilting on it. So it was very dense. So I started picking it out and I left it, had it on the long arm for a long time. And finally I just had to take it off the long arm because it was so much picking. I thought this has got to be easier if I just hold it and have it in my lap. But it still took me forever. But I'm finally, I'm done. I was going to leave this top row quilted and because it was okay. It was just started here, down here, and further where it started messing up. And so I loaded it back on my long arm and I could not get it to the back fabric to 
um, to quit uh, wrinkling. No matter what I did, I don't know wh why it was doing that. Um, so I'm like, well, take it off and pick it out. So I did. I took it back off the long arm and picked the rest of it out. So now it's completely picked. <laughs> if I don't see another seam ripper, it'll be too soon. Ugh. Then I tried one of those electric seam rippers and it cut my fabric. So now I have a couple of have a spot that has a hole in it. So I'm not too sure. I'm just probably going to have to put a patch on there. This is my quilt. Uh, I wasn't going to give it away or do anything like that with it. You know, not like I'm selling it or not quilting it for somebody else. So I'm going to get this back on the long arm today. Um, let's see. Oh, hold on. So, I started the um, dress and plate with Tiffany from Tiffany's Quilting Line. So I'll show you my Dresdens, and I won't show you every one of them because they're basically all the same. Um, but here's the fabric. And what I'm going to do um, let's see, this is a fact or a um, layer cake that I've had for quite a while and it's um, Penny Rose fabric. Yeah, Penny Rose fabrics and let's see if I can, I haven't used this one at all. I had two of them. Uh, fine cotton. Well, it's too small. I can't read it. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, it's really pretty. So, if I get this one done, I might see how this looks in the camper. I'm going to glue those down. So I need to cut out the background fabric for that. And I'm just doing it on muslin. And it's kind of um, unbleached, so it's light cream color. So it'll be fine with, with that. And then for the sashing, I'm going to use in borders. I'm going to use this stuff right here. It's really pretty. And I think that will go really well also. See that? I think that'll be fine. And then the center centers will be this fabric. Right there. Yeah. So that's where I, I am on that. So I need to get back to work on it. Get that done. So what I'll do is I will so I kind of like to have three uh, projects going. Uh, in my quilting or sewing. So I'd like to have like one thing I'm binding, 
and another thing I'm quilting on the long arm and then another thing I'm piecing. That way I can kind of move, get tired of long arming, I can go do some piecing or I can do the binding. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I want to bring that sewing machine over here because that quilt is pretty big and then I would have this big table to lay it up on. So, all right, that's it. I'm going to get back to cleaning. So, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I don't think I have anything else to share with you right now. But I've missed you guys. And um, leave me a comment down below and say hi. Until next time, go make something. Bye.